on the TV show Wildin' Out. Put your hands together for the top dog, Corey Holcomb! Hey, what up? Man, I know y'all think I ain't gonna be shit. I remember the first time I had sex with a condom on. You know, they don't come with directions, so I didn't know. I, I put the rubber all the way on. I ain't leave no room in the front. I nutted in me. <laughs> all that shit went back in there, man. I was, I was like, shit, I think I'm going to be pregnant, nigga. I done fucked up. <laughs> anyway, what's up, uh, fellas? Clap your hands if you ever fucked a fat bitch with regular people legs. They look horrible when they walk to the bathroom. You be like, oh, nigga, I, I gotta start working out again, nigga. This is not cool. I just fucked the Hamburglar, nigga. What the fuck is that? <laughs> anyway, all right, fuck it. Look, real talk. Let's get this shit out the way. This is some shit that needs to be said. And if you think I'm lying, let me know. Fellas, if you got money, you can get pussy, right? And if you got a lot of money, then you can, you can get with some of the finest women in the world. So with that being said, the way your woman look is a representation of your income. That's right, so some of y'all ain't got to explain nothing to me, nigga. I know you voted for Barack, nigga. It's, it's time for change, nigga. God damn. You got your sparring partner with you in this motherfucker. <sighs> There's a flip side to that joke, ladies. You know that, right? That means... Basically, if you think about that joke, that means if your man ain't rich, if he ain't rich, he with you because you the best he can do right now. <laughs> I know that hurt, I know. <laughs> you better hope he don't never hit the lottery or nothing, goddammit. You, you motherfuckers are finished if he ever get on his feet. What if he get rich, goddammit? I swear, boy, you coughed the wrong way, it's over. <laughs> hey, bitch. I ain't got to put up with this shit, bitch. I'm doing it too big for that shit, man. Oh, shit. How many of you fellas still fuck your baby mama when you go visit your kids? I don't even really spend no time with my kids, goddamn. I go up in that motherfucker, hey, what's up, little man? <laughs> you know, Let me see you dance. Let me see you dance. <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> I've been going here with your mama for a little while. I'll be right back. Come out that motherfucker, sweaty little motherfucker. <laughs> Let me see you dance, little man. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you next time I come through, little man. I don't, I don't fuck with you like that. I don't know you, nigga. <laughs> oh, I'm 
this fuck with y'all. I tell you what, these new domestic abuse laws are making it very difficult to discipline your woman. Uh, that's right, they take you to jail for little shit, like a knot on her head and shit. You're like, damn, officer, if you leave, we can work it out. Ladies, y'all be fronting when the police be there. Yeah, take him to jail. Like, oh, bitch, I busted your head last week and we went to the park after that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> now, that's a joke. Fellas, you should never close fish your woman. That's some bullshit. You never, ugh, that's, you bogus for that. Don't ever close fish your woman. Always open hand your woman. And this is not a slap, ladies. He just rebooting the system, that's all. It's... Sometimes you gotta unplug the computer and plug it up. Same thing with your girl. Where you been, my baby? Psh. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this bitch working now. This bitch working. Oh, some of y'all ladies, don't be looking mad, goddammit. Y'all know y'all like guys that ain't shit. That's all I deal with is women that know I ain't shit. Uh, girl, shut the fuck up. You knew I wasn't shit when you met me. Your daughter piggy bank ain't just disappear, bitch. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you ladies look mad, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I want you to know that I moved to Los Angeles and I, they got a lot of shit out there they ain't got everywhere else. I found an abortion clinic with pool tables in it. <laughs> While my girl was in the recovery room, me and the doctor was gambling. Nigga, I won all my money back. That was a joke, sensitive people. Fucking get all sensitive on me. That was a joke. I don't even believe in abortion clinics. I take my ladies to Six Flags. <laughs> Put them on every roller coaster out there, goddamn. <laughs> my stomach. <laughs> hey, it's time to go there. It don't do nothing but get worse. All I got is fucked up jokes, goddamn. You ain't got no motherfucking little nice shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck it. All you little conservative women who are here tonight, you are about to learn a lot of shit. For example, stop breaking up with... Good men for dumb reasons. A lot of y'all break up with your man for stupid shit like cheating. <laughs> that is the dumbest reason ever to leave your man. What, you, you gonna go get another man? <laughs> now it's a stranger cheating on you, motherfucker. Everybody is going to cheat on you. Look at you. Wouldn't you cheat on you? <laughs> My ignorant ass girl was talking shit to me about cheating. I was like, do you remember when I met you? I had a girl. Me and you used to fuck around behind her back. Wouldn't you cheat on you? <laughs> My ignorant ass girl was talking shit to me about cheating. I was like, do you remember when I met you? I had a girl. Me and you used to fuck around behind her back. She thought you fixed me, bitch? You just inherited her problem. That's what you did. Now you holding me back, guys. You know? 
I got this one stupid chick. She uh, she thinks she my number one because we married. <laughs> and she don't know she checked my phone. She ain't even in my fave five. I don't, I don't even know this bitch number for real. <laughs> If I lost my phone, I got to go on the internet and find her motherfucking number. <laughs> All you little scary ass men with your girl scared to laugh, I see you out there, nigga. Selling me out like a motherfucker. Oh, I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. No, you hate you with your girl tonight. Look at all these fine women around here, and you, and this motherfucker with some pussy you didn't already had. <laughs> Looking at her, explaining your laughter. How fucked up is that, nigga? <laughs> I'm saying this thing. <laughs> It's a natural feeling, nigga. You, that shit is doomed, nigga. That shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> Ladies, look at your man. You think he happy to be with you tonight? You think he act like that when you ain't around? I'm not the only one performing in this motherfucker tonight. It's, it's Oscar winners out there. <laughs> He was a mind reader. He'll be like, I can't wait to drop this bitch off. <laughs> Think it's me, don't you? After you had sex with your man tonight, I'm telling you, I guarantee it. When you walk to the bathroom, take three steps and then turn around real fast. I guarantee you that nigga gonna be doing this. Hey. <laughs> the fuck is this calling me? I don't put your number in my phone, ladies, because I won't remember your name. I put a name to help me remember you. That's right. Look at my girl Swallow. Yeah. Dallas Big Teeth. Y'all yeah, got to stop checking dudes' phones, because this girl looked at my phone and got mad when she saw her name. <laughs> With a number under her name, she was like, who is last resort, nigga? Hey, you think it's a coincidence I call you at three in the morning, bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ladies, let me ask y'all some shit, because y'all motherfuckers are here fronting with me like y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I want to ask y'all something, ladies. Why not sell pussy? Think of all the awful vaginal decisions you'd have made. You want me to tell you why you broke? Because you fucking who you want to fuck instead of who you have to fuck. Start selling your pussy. Your best years are flying away. You know you ain't on course to be shit, girl. <laughs> Look at all these single men around here, ladies. There's fellas in here willing to give you up to $40 for your pussy tonight. You ain't got to be broke. Don't make no sense for you to have antibiotics and no money. And ladies, let me tell you something. These kids take after y'all. They spoiled too. They think you're supposed to get them Christmas presents after you get a mama a child support check. <laughs> fuck that. I was like, hey, little man, your mama fucked both of our Christmas up. <laughs> See that new purse she got? That's what she bought with your present money. Yeah, you better holler at her, nigga. If you got, if your baby mama got kids by another dude, you ain't supposed to buy them other kids shit, but buy your kids a whole bunch of shit. 
Show up with a whole bunch of shit for your kids. <laughs> Look at them other kids like, your daddy ain't buy you nothing, he ain't buy you nothing. <laughs> Pull out some chapstick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a dirty motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Ladies, y'all gotta also be honest with dudes and let us know about your hidden defective body parts. <laughs> Some of y'all be bold in a motherfucker get naked that quick. <laughs> Knowing you got straight damage. <laughs> this one girl took her shirt off and one of her titties was gone, nigga. I knew I was gonna make a joke out of it because she got me to suck the one titty she did have. It was cool, I ain't had to keep going back and forth and shit, you know, I could just spend quality time with the lonely titty. While, while I look over there at Ground Zero, goddamn, I was like, damn, bitches. Need a 9-11 tattoo on that motherfuckers. Still some smoke coming out there. <laughs> I sucked that one, sucked that one titty till some milk came out. It was, it was half and half. You know. <laughs> what? They don't teach you what you need to know in college. They don't have real sex education courses. They need to. You need to know what you're getting into when you out here in the streets. Um, for example, ladies, you know. I'm sure you've gone to comedy shows and you see female comics talking about men and they dicks and all that shit. But let me be the first one to say this. Ladies, all women ain't got good pussy. I have been disappointed on a number of occasions. Healthy pussy got some clear shit coming out of it. I was with this one girl. I was like, baby, um, what is this? Fettuccine Alfredo looking ass shit. All on the back of my sack. What is that, baby? I don't. <laughs> she thought I was a new fool. That bitch was like, that's cum. Hey, bitch, this is ratatouille, bitch. This ain't. <laughs> Give me one of them thin ass rags out your bathroom, bitch. <laughs> It costs a dollar for a reason, bitch. This is a paper towel, bitch. This ain't no... <laughs> Some of y'all got the other shit, the vaginal dryness. That is the most fucked up shit ever created. The desert pussy. Girl gonna try to blame it on me. Tell me you ain't turning me on. I was like, my boy told me your pussy don't get wet. You need some panties with a humidifier on them motherfuckers, bitch. I wanna say what's up to all the ladies who never see their man around the holidays cause he be with his real family. I want you to hang in there, okay? Your special day is coming.